You want to check it out? Oh, oh, oh. You're going to see it anyway. It's actually a red band trailer, which is actually kind of cool. You know? This is one that they would not show in theaters because, you know, it's got violence and curse words. But All right, you ready? Let's check it out. Strong, bloody throughout. Harumi. Harumi. Can you hear it okay? <gasps> Some of it looked good, but like that pan down the hallway, oh, <laughs> that was bad. Well, the figures weren't bad. The way they, that very, like, it's obviously done with a computer instead of just panning through an actual drawing or something. Right, right. So it's kind of like, ah. Oh. Uh, so you know, Evan says, Avery is so smart. Yeah, but he know. But he consorts with Andrew. How smart could he be? Hmm. Mm, I don't know, Evan. Yeah, I know. All right, here we go. Here we go. Next part. Enough. First. Yeah, that's how Scorpion died. Once a generation. Is that how Scorpion died, really? I don't know. I just assume that's Sub Zero killing Scorpion because they got a long feud because Scorpion's dead in the games. So, and he's always wanting revenge against Sub Zero. This is the origin origin of why he wants revenge. So, there looks like Sub Zero kill, killed his whole family. So that's, that's yeah. really sad. Yeah, I think that's sort of the whole beef throughout the whole all the games. Weren't they weren't they out for a time on the same side though? Never. I remember that in one of the games. Maybe not. Okay. All right, well, let's play. Yes, this. There is a tournament. Why would I fight for you? Because he will be in attendance. I can send you there, Hanzo. Hanzo is dead. Call me Scorpion. Let Mortal Kombat begin! Oh, that's nasty. Were you ever a fan of the video games? Yeah, for a minute. Yeah. I liked the first one. And that was pretty much it. By the time they got... Maybe the second one was okay, but after they, they, the further they got into the series, the harder it was to do the moves and all that good stuff. And... Uh, you know, if I can't just mash buttons, I don't want to play the game. You know, once you're past about fifteen, yeah. Actually, I remember the um, the uh, Mortal Kombat vs. DC. Michael had gotten that game, and that was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. But uh, he kicked he kicked my ass so often it wasn't worth playing anymore. You know? That DC game is basically Mortal Kombat with DC characters. Yeah, yeah. And the storyline wasn't bad. I bought the first one for the story. Then after I played it, I gave it to Michael. I do remember <laughs> that. I do remember. How many of those two did they make? Do you remember? I don't know. They've made two of them. At least. Okay. Well, cool. Let's, let's continue watching. I will win this tournament. You're going to keep crying like a bitch or fight like a man? That was good. That was good. You actually had teeth flying in the air. Ugh. All right. Poorly drawn teeth. What's that? I said poorly drawn teeth. Yeah, well. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I stopped it on this screen. What is he trying to say to us? Come over here. Let me Johnny, point the way. Johnny Cage. I always hated that character. He was the least cool looking. Yeah. He was he was he was the most like vanilla character ever. All right, who was your favorite character of all time for Mortal Kombat? Uh, Sub Zero. Same here. <laughs> he he was like the cheapest character. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I I never I never got good with Scorpion, so I always played Sub Zero. He was he's a he was a button masher. If you mash the buttons in a certain angle, it would always work. So yeah, yeah. All right, let's see what else we got. You are the only hope left for Earthrealm. If Emperor Shao Kahn wins the 10th Mortal Kombat tournament, then you all die. Get over here! Let's run Kansas! Extreme violence! 
Holy bad shit. language. Bad language. <laughs> in a world. In a world where you're not allowed to see any of that. We're going to show it to you anyway. Furries. One movie's bringing you bad language and extreme violence. Mortal <laughs> Kombat, Scorpion's Revenge. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What about sex and nudity? We can only hope. That's what the furries are for. That's what the fur that's what Goro is for, you know? Yeah. Oh yeah, four oh man, four handies at once. <laughs> All right, here we go. I don't remember any of those kind of monsters in the Mortal Kombat game. You what? Any of those kind of monsters like centaurs and shit. Um, I do remember the centaurs in it was like not the in the second in the second video game. But I don't have a clue what his name was or any of that stuff. Because I remember he was he was one of the, he was like the 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 guy beyond Goro in in the second one. I'm sure somebody out there knows. No, Evan probably. I, knows. I think you're making that up. Yeah, I probably am. Oh, get over here, Goro. <laughs> oh. Finish him. Mortal Kombat Legends, Scorpion's Revenge. This thing better not go straight to video. On digital and Blu-ray. Yep. <laughs> Actually, did it have a release date? It might be interested. Nope. Oh, well. All right, but that still does look cool, though. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I tell oh, you know what? You know what I need to check? There's parts of it that look blandly competent. I need to find out if there's a Steelbook case release of it. Let me check. Uh, because it's Warner Brothers, which means most likely it would be Target. Oh, Let's Target. <gasps> yes, there is. And actually, it's April 28th, Mortal Kombat Legends Scorpion's Revenge Steelbook case release at Target. All right. I got to look and see what this thing's going to look like. Oh, what, oh, what is it going to look like? Oh, my God. God. Just amazing. Limited edition steelbook case. Oh, limited edition. You know, I like those limited editions. Oh, still bookcase totally makes it worth it. Right? Am I, I mean, am I right? Yep. Yep. Let's see here. That's why I have the Fantastic Four still bookcase. Oh, oh, shut up. Oh, wait. That's you. This is probably what the cover looks like. Oh, my God. That's not bad. That's actually pretty cool looking. I don't know. I can't see it. Hold on. Okay. That looks better than the movie. <laughs> <laughs> See, that makes it look like this movie's gonna be awesome. Then you watch the animation, like this movie looks well. kind of okay-ish sometimes. <laughs> it really like, is that that the more quality has really gone down in these DC movies. It's, yeah, yeah, it's definitely a much cheaper animated movie. Like, go back and look at Batman Year One. Hey everybody, thanks a lot for checking out our video. If you like this content, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications, and join us again. We live stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday starting at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. We usually go for about an hour. We do drawing, we talk about comics, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Make sure you leave us a comment and let us know what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down either way, and we'll catch you all next time.